Hey there folks, it's Josh and you're watching That Christian Show and um, this particular webisode is mostly vlogging, well, it's totally vlogging with prayer journals, bibles, uh, commentary, scripture, chapters, all that stuff. So, um, enjoy. Hopefully someday I'll be allowed to film an actual church again or something. I'll be able to work on stuff. I don't know. It's probably not going to happen, but who knows. That's my prayer. Hey there, folks. Um, from the Voice of the Martyrs, um, Pray Today app, the country that they're praying for. Hey there, and you are going to be watching something to, to, for that Christian show, because this is going to be all about prayer. Actually, from the website, allaboutprayer.org, um, the, um, what is prayer, well, I'm going to read to you a different section of this and take a break and then come back and read another section. Um, prayer is talking to God. Prayer is a privilege. Imagine meeting your best friend for coffee at your favorite cafe. Your friend knows everything about you. You can count on your friend being exactly where he says he will be. Anytime you need him, you can call and he won't be upset with you. He is willing to listen and responds with love and concern. That is just like prayer. The only difference is that your best friend is God. God is available to you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. He knows everything you ever did, and He still loves you. He knows your future, too. He has the best plans for your life. He cares for you so much that He gave His Son so that you could be with Him forever. For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.16 you can talk to him about anything that concerns you. Tell him your desires and passions. Share your concerns for your loved ones. Talk about your fears with him. Communicate with God to what... Communicate to God what is inside you without fear. And um, next up, we'll be reading prayer. What do I say? <coughs> From allaboutprayer.org. On the topic of prayer, what do I say? Prayer must be may be accomplished in many ways. The best way is to be natural, as if it were, as if you were in the room with him. He's very anxious to hear every word you say. You can say whatever is on your heart. He'll even listen to your anger and sadness. In Matthew six nine through thirteen, Jesus taught the disciples a pattern for prayer. This then is how you should pray: Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Next up, why pray? <clears throat> Hey there, so um, on the topic of prayer, uh, why pray? Why is prayer important? If God already knows all about you and knows all that he has written, why should you pray? It's because God created us to have free will. He wants us to come to him willingly and not as robotic creations. He has given us a mind to make decisions and the most important decision is about eternity. Even though he knows the future, we don't know the future choices we will make. It's important to live by his guidance to make the right choices. In the Bible, you will find kings, prophets... And ordinary people like you and me averted destruction by praying to God. One prayer stopped the sun. One prayed fire down from heaven. One gained 15 years to his own life. And one prayer even saved a whole city. These people prayed intensely to the God who answers prayer. When you pray, God listens to your cries. When you don't pray, God feels left out of your life. He is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. First Peter I'm sorry, 2 Peter 3, 9b. As you pray consistently, you are affirming the existence of God in your life. You are building your faith as you see God's hand do his mighty work on your behalf just because you asked. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. He who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, the door will be opened. Matthew 7, 7-8. Hey there, folks. It's uh, March 24, 2012. This is very likely to be in that Christian show. And it is my prayer journal until I get a read. Okay, so um, from allaboutprayer.org, 
the subject of unanswered prayer, unheard answers. Are you experiencing unanswered prayer? Does God turn a deaf ear to some of your desperate pleas for healing, finances, or protection? We all experience irritation when our best efforts to communicate result in an unsatisfactory response. Or worse, no response at all. We wonder, did you ever receive my message? When we pray, we often equate the lack of immediate tangible results with God rejecting our prayers. In James 5:13 to 16, we are urged to pray earnestly with the promise of powerful and wonderful results. Why would God emphasize the importance of prayer and then choose not to respond with a joyful answer? When answering prayer, God responds first to our attitude, much as a parent responds to a precious child. Psalm 103, 13 to 14. Our childish actions and attitudes frequently affect a prayer's desired results. Unforgiveness, selfishness, doubt, greed, pride, and stubbornness hinder God's desire to answer prayer. It is Tuesday, March 13, 2012, and I'm going to be reading to you from my prayer journal until I get a repeat. For me, Lord, use me as your instrument to minister life, hope, help, and healing to others, especially to the non-believers. I do not want to be so focused on my own life and overlook your master plan. For me, empower the gift that you have planted in me so that I may can fully, fully utilize them. 1 Peter 4.10, each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others, faithfully administering God's grace in its various forms. For Naomi, what's good? For Brittana Rockefeller, heal her shoulder. For me, enough is enough. I want more of you, and I want the life that reflects this choice. How long do I have to wait? For Violet Gurian, protection and what's good in Israel right now. For me, help me want to follow you again. For me, so now we're getting kicked. Well, okay. Uh, I'm not really sure. Yeah, all right. I, I kind of have to read this one as is because um, there's no other way to explain it. So now we're getting kicked out of the place with Bev and Paul after being here less than a month. We didn't have to leave Kendall Street, and now we have nowhere to go. I don't want to be here, but wherever we go, I want my cats with us. So what are you going to do about it now, God? For Michelle Centil, what's good? For me, right now, I need to be constantly uploading every day. I ask that you support me in this. Well, with the terabyte drive, that soon is going to end. <coughs> terabyte drive broken, and all the Soulfest footage, and Misfit Acres footage, and old Josh Tube footage, and all the old footage that I've been trying to get out for years, that drive is dead. For me, I pray that I could quit smoking. For me, I want another guitar. Nick Cardi, what's good? Ian Murphy, what's good? America, that we would wake up in time to stop Obama from becoming our first dictator. For Joshua Brandon Weeks, what's good? For me, I will follow my Lose It plan today. Oh! <laughs> For Chris McNeely, what's good? For G, praise...